Hello everyone, Dave here from Save Decks. And I'm Sophie. And to celebrate the release of the Mulan remake on Disney+, Plus, Sophie has a project she's been working on. Yes, I've made part of my island into a Mulan theme island. <laughs> Created some of the sets from the animated version. Yes, that's right. So just to say right now, neither of us have actually seen the remake. So we're not going to talk about that. We have no opinion on that because we've yeah. not seen it. But I am excited to see it. Yeah, but um, I know that you're a big fan of the original. Yes, I am. I um, I used to have a McDonald's Mulan toy um, and I took it everywhere with me. And we went to Lime Regis one day, which is in Dorset. And um, I lost it and it's a pebble beach. And um, I went into... So I had to go find it. Um, and by some miracle... I found it because when you lose something on a pebble beach it's very unlikely that you're going to find it again so yeah i found it and that was from a happy meal yeah, it was from a happy meal was, was that last week no <laughs> <laughs> it was fun back when they you know that whole thing with the sauce that people loved it was back when they were doing that all right i can't remember what it was no, but I, I don't remember that. they were loving it so anyway let's um see these sets now <laughs> okay so as we come up here we're going to Mulan's garden. This is her house. Um, so here's the shrine that she goes to and she prays to the gods. Not gods, sorry. Prays to her ancestors. Um, and um, as you can see, there's a trail of seeds coming from little brother, the dog. And that dog's from the film? Yes. Okay. Um, and over here is the um, statue that Mushu's supposed to wake up. And he breaks it and then he goes on the mission yeah and then over here this is where she sits with her dad and he puts the um flower in her hair and he says you know sometimes late bloomers are the most prettiest yeah but in a nicer way than that <laughs> <laughs> um but because i don't um uh time travel I couldn't get the cherry blossom oh. so i just put cherry blossoms on the floor and then a cherry blossom branches next to it yeah. Gives you the illusion. Over here we have the um where her horse is, but I couldn't get a black horse, so we've got a rodeo style horse. Yeah. <laughs> and then I couldn't put a bridge in for her garden because I've got too many bridges. So I put this little rock feature here and then a waterfall, as you can see. That's nice. Yes. So into her house we go. So this is where she has um tea with her parents and she's saying you shouldn't go because you're an old man and you're injured but again in a nicer way than that <laughs> um and then there's these things on the wall i didn't want to have loads of um screens in the way because you'll see later um so i made these up basically to look like the windows or oh, wherever right. they are don't really know but yeah, yeah i know what you mean but yeah, I was watching the film as I was making these, so... Yeah, so you were, like, pausing it yeah. when a certain set was on screen. Yeah. Just remaking it And then I've just there. put candles here, but nothing. Yeah. Nothing to... It's very basic, but... That's the job. Yeah. What's um, this one? This is her parents' bedroom. All right. And um, this is the window where she sees his silhouette. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I just made it and put it on the wall on the floor <laughs> this is the comb she leaves it there when she goes off and then he wakes up and he's like oh Mulan she's gone then over in this room we have the matchmaker's um, tea room or house and she's you know this is where they pour the tea this is the reason why I didn't want screens because they kind of block the way yeah I did this mostly in the rooms it was um you know, I know there's gaps in between, but it's supposed to be drapes, basically. Yeah. Um, and then I've got a cricket. Yeah. I know it's, it's nice. not the same colour as cricky, but it's a cricket in a yeah, cage. It'll do. Yeah. <laughs> so this is where she goes and gets her dad's uniform and sword and helmet. Yeah. And I actually wanted to get a helmet, but I seem to have missed that train because I can't actually find it anywhere. Oh, right. Um, but other than that, this is where she gets it. Yeah. And then the last room... So this is up on the mountains and 
those are the Huns <laughs> coming down the mountain. Let's say, did you draw them? I did. I was too lazy to draw horses and stuff, so I just did people. <laughs> generic and they, people. they run behind them. Right? Yeah, just, exactly. Yeah, you know, rise of sex. Just you know, lazy. What's that on the floor? Uh, this is the cannon, um, and she shoots at the mountain, and then they get buried in snow. It's a, it's a you know a set piece, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. simple yeah. but effective. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, from her garden, I did this little watering place. Yeah, just because I liked it. From her house, we go into the town, and um, here's the dress shop, and here's where the two men are playing a board game, and yeah. their little parasol next to it. I like this is my favourite part of this. Looks like Go, that game. Yeah, this one's Go, but I don't know if they were actually playing Go, but it looked similar. Yeah. Um, and then there's a little stool. Yeah. Um, and then at the end of the song, this is where she's... Um, they they have all the parasols going down, but mm. obviously it's facing this way yeah. rather than the matchmaker's house. But you wouldn't really see it that well. Exactly. This camera angle. So this is the matchmaker's house. This is the bathhouse. So we're going to the matchmaker's house. Is it one of your villagers' houses? Which one? Is it? Because um, This is your house, actually. Your, my your character. Oh, yeah. my character. Because I noticed you knocked on the door before you went in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is my house. Yeah. yeah I wonder what happened to it. Yeah. So I've used it as a... This main area is the place where she gets dressed. Yeah. Um, And I love these drapes. I use these screens as drapes. Yeah. And then I made these little shelving things with material and I've got some dresses either side and sewing kits. And yeah, I like this bin. It's my favourite. Mm-hmm. Um, so we'll go to... Very spacious. Yeah. I know, yeah. But the, um, the only reason I chose that is because you get the door at the back and yeah. there's like a darkened area in the film and I was like, oh, oh that'll cool. work. Um, so this is split into two bits. So this first bit is... Um, when she walks into the bathhouse. Yeah. And then this second bit is when she's in the bath. She Mulan was in the bath and then her mum is here helping mm. her get changed. Yeah. My favourite um, bit of this is the screen covering the, the characters on the wall over yeah. there. Um, because that's what I saw in the film and I was like, oh, I can recreate that with oh, good. you know a screen and a picture on the wall. That's good. And that was it. Yeah. History was made. <laughs> Here's another generic room where she gets ready. Um, yeah. I think she does her makeup in here. I'm not entirely sure. It kind of feels like in a like, behind-the-scenes yeah. documentary about a film or TV show where you see how the sets are connected to each other. Of course. <laughs> You're like, oh, that's not really in that house. <laughs> yeah. This 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 room is actually just opposite this other room that's meant to be the other side of town. Basically, like, yeah. yeah. So this one, this next room is my favourite room. Um, I, you know, she sat on the pillow and I think she's, all, you know, again, getting ready. I think they're brushing her hair in this one, actually. Okay. Um, but there is a picture on the wall with the back that looks like this. And those were my favourite ones to make, those pictures. And you made that yourself. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I really like it. Yeah. But yeah, this is my favourite one. That's cool. Yeah. It was awesome to try and find things that were, like, similar to... The film. The film, yeah. Yeah. And then the last one... This is in the palace where she um, she and the other soldiers that she's friends with dress up as women. Yeah. And then they fight the Huns who are guarding the emperor. Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, but I made the wallpaper and I made the little dragon thing up there. It doesn't really look like a dragon, but, Does you know. the job. Yeah. And then, yeah, that's I just decorated it with lamp- lanterns and stuff. Hello. <laughs> Pinky. Over here we have uh, the tent she was staying in when she first became a soldier. It's where Mushu gives her the rice with the bacon egg eggs that are smiling face. Yeah. Um, is that chicken part of it? No. Um, <laughs> this is the lake where she goes swimming. Um, I and remember then, that scene. Yeah. yeah, the boys come and they're naked and she's like, oh. And then yeah. the guy stands on this rock and he's like, I'm the king of the rock and there is nothing you can do about it. So this is the burning village that they get to after the song A Girl Worth Fighting For. Yeah. And I also added the little doll she found. Obviously, I couldn't put a proper doll. so yeah, it's I just, just on the floor. Yeah, it's just yeah. a picture. 
That makes sense. Yeah. And last but not least, we have the Great Wall. Although it's not very great because it's a very short... It's so all you could put in that yes. space. But... I suppose I could have made it bigger, but here we go. That's the job. The OK Wall. Yes. And there's no bandicoots riding tigers along it. No. It's a shame. I would love that though. <laughs> So this is the, so I made a few costumes for this and this is the dress she wears when she's seeing the matchmaker. Yeah. Um, and I also made a hat to, you know, so she could have the um, the comb in there as well. I also made this robe. Um, this is one of the first ones I made from earlier in the game. Yeah. And um, it's just a generic Mulan it's one that Wait. featured in your previous costume video. Yes. So for those of you wondering, there's not been many costume videos lately. This is why. Yeah. We're getting costumes here. So here, here's your fix of costumes yep. on Animal Crossing. <laughs> and here's my Mushu robe. It looks like Mushu. It looks like Mushu. It's a bit big for him. It's a giant Mushu. Yeah. But, but it's Mushu. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny enough. Yeah. This is the matchmaker's dress. Yeah, and I put a wig in the background just so you could get an idea of what it would look like. Identify it a bit more. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So this one, the one on the left, is one of the soldiers when he's on the rock. He's naked. <laughs> um, obviously, when you're naked in Animal Crossing, you you wear shorts. <laughs> <laughs> so I did a t-shirt, and yeah, you can wear shorts, and it looks like he's slightly naked. Oh, gives the effect. Exactly. What's on the right? On the right is when um, Mulan's injured and she's got a bandage around her. And last but not least, this is not a costume I've made. This is the clothing that you can buy in the game. And it just um, is Look. perfect for Looks Mulan. similar. Yeah. They look similar to what they wore. Of course, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's all the sets you've made in, from Mulan. Yes, that's it. So have you got more of these planned for the future? Um, Maybe. Well, the next Disney remake is Little Mermaid, I believe. Do you think you could make any underwater sets here? Probably. You get some underwater flooring and underwater okay. wallpaper, so it's, it's possible. something to think about, isn't it? Yeah, I could make her yes. Cave of Wonders or whatever yes. it is called. Oh, yeah, the, co the cove, yeah. the treasure cove yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. one. So that would be a nice idea, so... Yeah, if you want to keep up to see what Sophie makes next in Animal Crossing, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And also give it a like if you like this video. And also make sure you mention in the comments anything you want to see from us in the future as well. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much for showing us all that, Sophie. That's right. And thank you all for watching. See you in the next one.